the superhero who saves the world isn't a little brother. He's an old man. He can use his fingers as guns and fly at high speeds. But he wasn't born that way. Ichiro's career is not going well. His children despise him and his wife is having an affair. But that's not the worst of it. He goes to the hospital and finds out that his cancer is terminal and he has a maximum of three months to live. He called his family for comfort, but no one would pick up the phone. Ichiro went to the park to take a break when a bright white light appeared in the sky and an alien ship crashed into them. When Ichiro wakes up, there's no one around him. He takes off his glasses and realizes that his presbyopia is gone. Back at home, Ichiro felt something was wrong. No matter what he ate, he had no taste, no appetite, and was very thirsty. He asked himself in a low voice if he was going to die. Suddenly, his fingernails lifted, and then... Ichiro was stunned by what he saw in front of him. The next day, he was walking along the road and saw a wounded eagle. He took it in his hand and saw that the dying eagle was healed. Then he heard a cry for help in the distance and followed it to the hospital. Outside the door of the doctor is giving the last notice to the family. Ichiro did not say a word and walked in. He stretched out his hands and instantly healed the boy. The doctor thought it was incredible. Ichiro smiled with relief because he had found the value of life. From then on, he was either saving lives or on his way to saving lives. Until this day, he met a man just like himself. This boy used his finger as a pistol and pointed it at the sky. He was also able to steer a car unmanned and even launch missiles to destroy the world. His name is Hiro, and like Ichiro, he's a survivor of that night's alien attack. But he doesn't have Ichiro's good heart. His father abandoned him a long time ago and started a new family, and he felt it was unfair that he had to live with his mother. He wanted to kill his father, but when it came time to do it, he couldn't bear it. He was walking home, struggling inside, when he suddenly heard the sound of a happy family and was saddened by the thought of his father, so he shot him. The police soon found him, but he was outmatched and got away. Wanted by the whole country, Hiro had nowhere to go and it at a friend's house. He thought that hiding would be fine, but soon the news about his mother appeared on TV. Everyone spoke ill of her, and she couldn't bear the pressure of society's opinion and hang herself. Hiro is remorseful that his mother is dead, but the violence of the internet doesn't stop, and the online abuse of his mother only increases. And someone even claims that he broke the news about his mother, so Hiro finds him. He then kills everyone who has ever called his mother names through the internet. Then the police found him and shot at him, but Hiro was invulnerable. He raised his hand and the police were all killed, but a friend and her grandmother died for him. Having lost the love of his life again, Hiro is changed. He hates the world and decides to declare war on all mankind. The next day, he hacked all the electronic devices in the country. He wanted to destroy the world. After he finished, he made a pistol gesture and the viewers in front of the screen thought he was ridiculous. The next moment, on the rooftop, Hiro launches countless missiles, and with a wave of his hand, he scatters them all over the city. Ichiro follows the missiles and finds him, and the two of them start a fight. Ichiro's inexperience is no match for him, and the two begin a chase through the air, with Ichiro soon being wounded. Hiro is about to take a drink of water to finish Ichiro off, but the water is blown up by Ichiro's shot. Hiro goes up and knocks Ichiro down. He was so thirsty that he didn't think twice and picked up Ichiro's water and started drinking it. The two of them start another chase, all the way to space. Just as Hiro is about to give Ichiro the final blow, he realizes that the missile has turned into water and that Ichiro has put something in the water. Ichiro seizes the opportunity and fires a shot with all his might, directly at Hiro, who is hit and instantly knocked to the ground. Ichiro also rushes back to Earth and rescues his daughter from the rubble. But before he could say a word, Hiro came back. He pounds Ichiro to the ground, but realizes that he can't kill him, so he turns his hatred towards his daughter. He wanted Ichiro to feel the loss of his family, so he threw his daughter out of the sky. This time Ichiro was really angry, and he rushed at Hiro with all his strength. At the last moment of landing, Ichiro saves his daughter. Ichiro puts down his daughter and says, I am going to save the world, and then flies back up into the sky to save more people. End of story. See you next time.